<laughs> oh shit. Galvin, he got a whole lot of talent Say he grew up in the islands, know how to roll with his song Genius for Dylan, he doesn't stop till I feel it That's why I call him policeman, he come around and I run It's for Eric, you love when I share it Let's talk about Frankie, I love when he's banging You know what I'm on Cheers for Gerald, I'm at Hi you guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button Turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram At Barking Coco, you know how to spell Barking And you know how to spell Coco so this morning I went to the gym. I am actually on my way back. Um, I was doing some work. I was editing basically this week's video that I'm uploading or I should have already uploaded it. It should be done. Um, and then I went to the gym um, and then now I'm on my way back home. So it was kind of hard getting up to go to the gym today because your girl basically have not gone to the gym all weekend. Um, Actually, that's not true. I went to the gym on Saturday because I was meeting with a trainer um, because we're trying to come up with a routine that I can do because I was telling you guys I'm not looking to be bulky. I'm just looking to be fit, um, toned, that kind of stuff um, and, you know, getting my heart rate up and stuff like that. I did that on a Saturday and then tomorrow, well, Saturday, basically, he just took like my measurements, um, my weight my fat mass and like my muscle amount of muscle that i have that type of stuff so that's what we did on saturday and then i just did like a workout on my own and then tomorrow we're actually you know he has a workout routine for me um so i'm not going to be training with him every day but i am going to be um basically taking the um the workout that he shows me tomorrow and i'm going to try to do that on a regular basis so that you know i can like tone up and get my body looking good um so yeah so i'm on my way back home now i just did a couple of things i went to the bank pretty much uh, yeah and then we're gonna see what today has in store i did upload a video today so go check out if you haven't watched last week's video go watch it in cvs grabbing a few things i need some headbands for my hair when I go work out and stuff so some color for my wig I'm about to do a wig I got a bunch of headbands for when I go to work out mascara I should have gotten a basket and then I got this uh, fit me powder so I'm just picking up a couple of things inside of CVS. I'm looking for the e.l.f. concealer, but I don't know if they have it here. Anyways, let me, let me grab this stuff. Try to see what else I need. Does CVS have hot combs? <laughs> I'm hilarious. No, they don't. All right, you guys. I am back home. I went to CVS. I'll show you guys the stuff I got. I just got a bunch of headbands. I got a birthday card. Because someone's birthday is coming up. Not mine. Some cotton pads. Hair dye. I'm about to dye this wig black. Some more headbands. Because you guys know I am a gym gal now. More headband. And then um, I had seen... The girls on TikTok talk about, you know, the e.l.f. concealer. And then I also got this Fit Me concealer. I don't know. I just wanted to try them. Honestly, I think I needed a darker shade with the Fit Me. But they ran out, so I just ended up getting this. This is in the shade Cafe. And then I just got this Fit Me um, powder. And this is in the shade 375 um, Java. So this is what it looks like. 
just decided to go get some stuff. I also got some, got to be spray, some ghost bond glue, because I'm about to uh, do my hair, do my wig. And then I got some um, activator with the um, powder to bleach the knots of my wig. Oh, I also got some mascara. I'm trying this one. Um, it is from Maybelline. I used it before. I just saw it, so I got it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I have a couple of packages that I need to open up. It's trash. So I got a couple of packages. I'm honestly not sure where this is from. It doesn't say. I had ordered a bunch of like a workout gear. I actually had one sponsorship from a company um, that wanted me to try their products and then I ended up ordering some stuff from another brand. Oh, so this is from the brand Joja. Um, I seen someone post it on their Insta story. So I decided to buy a couple of things from them to like work out in, like workout sets. So I got this sports bra this thing came in like two days okay i was shocked and a matching bottom in black i got i'm pretty sure the same thing in this color actually no it's a different style but i got this and it should have a matching top and a matching top that looks like this now this is all workout gear and then this is a top sports bra so yeah just you know getting stuff to work out in so i look cute because honestly i think like Having cute workout outfits is what really like makes you want to go to the gym because it's like, oh, well, you know, like I can go to the gym and look cute at the gym. So I got these. I'm totally going to wear this tomorrow because they look so cute. And I guess I didn't get the bottom for this. I think they had sold out, but super cute. Yeah, so I can't wait to um, try these on. And then I got another package, and I'm pretty sure this is my wig that I ordered. Once again, I saw them on uh, TikTok. I saw people were trying on their stuff. It's from Love Me Hair. And it's a cute package. Like, look at it. Ooh. It's a cute package, like the color is cute, purple. This also came pretty fast. I ordered it probably Friday and today is Tuesday and it's here. Let's see what it says. Enjoy your hair journey from now on. And um, okay, this is the wig. It's a frontal wig. It's supposed to be pre-plucked, which honestly kind of looks like it. Okay, this feels nice. This feels really nice and it's definitely pre-plucked. I am going to um, bleach the knots a little bit though, but... I like the look of it and I love the hair texture. But we're gonna dye her black, which is why I got this. And um, yeah, and we're gonna put her on. 
Um, let's see, what did it come with? Oh my God, they are so nice. They send you a little um, hair straightener or hair curler. Oh, that's so nice of them. It only goes up to 200 though, so I don't know. But they send you a little nice curling iron. That is so sweet. Let's see what else. Oh, you get a little tool thing here. Oh my God, you get a headband to tie your edges. Hairbrush, good, because I need to throw the one that I have in the house. Edge brush. Some earrings, oh, that is so cute. And a wig cap. Okay, love me hair. Thank you. These are some really cool accessories to get with your hair. Um, and something to like, you know, put your hair in when you're done. That is so cute. But this is what the wig looks like, guys. It's supposed to be a um, body wave. What? It's cute. Mind you, I just ordered some hair from Hot Hair. Um, it's a virgin um, hair company. And I've seen Tara Walker always orders their hair. And I just ordered some curly Indian hair from them. Um, and it's like virgin Indian hair. It's super cute. She's always wearing it. And that's supposed to last you like two years, three years. So I'm excited about that because I just wanted to give my hair a break for a little bit. And then, you know, by wearing this wig and then when I'm done with the wig, I'm going to then um, get the um, virgin Indian hair into my hair. So like maybe like a week and a half, two weeks, I'm just gonna rock out the wig till then. And then once the hair gets here, we're gonna put that in our hair, you know? But I really wanted to give my leave out in the front a break for like a week or two, because every time I go out, I'm like straightening my hair and it's like not good for your hair, you know? Um, so, and you guys know I have natural hair, so I really can't not put heat in my hair. I have to, because it's the only way that it's gonna, you know, look straight and Usually that doesn't even last me, so yeah. So that is all I got. I'm back home from the gym. I'm gonna start on my hair, because I wanna put this on my head today. take this hair out which I'm dreading oh my god I don't want to have to do all that oh by the way my um workout gear today was this top that I got from Target and then I have Lululemon leggings on um yeah and this has like a sports bar inside of it now it's not the best hold on my boobs but I wasn't doing like running I was just doing like um a little bit of like foot exercises and stuff so it didn't look too bad but if I was going for like a run on the treadmill this would not be the proper bra to wear <laughs> um but yeah it's cute so Today has been a productive day. I'm gonna do my hair um, and then I'll come back and I'll let you guys. Camera is so clear. You can see all the discoloration of my skin, the hyperpigmentation. Oh my God. I'm still trying to figure out who to get my chemical peel with because I live in Massachusetts and like it sucks that I want to go to someone who has done a black person's chemical peel. And I just feel like they don't really have that in Massachusetts. So I'm still doing my research and yeah. So hopefully I can find somebody soon to do my chemical peel because I need it. Okay.
done with my hair. I am dressed. I'm going out for some drinks, but I wanted to show you guys the hair. This is what it looks like. To the best of my abilities, I try to curl the hair, but I definitely think that once I put my rods in tonight, it's gonna be better. I literally just have on this white t-shirt and this jeans that I got from, I can't remember the brand. <laughs> um, but if I uh, figure it out, I will leave it right here. But honestly, I did a pretty good job with this hair. You guys let me know. Honestly, once I put my rods in tonight and I show you guys tomorrow, it's going to be much, much better. But this is just what it looks like for tonight. So I can go out. But I did some edges. So, yeah. It's like a nine o'clock and I was supposed to have been left for dinner at like 8.30, but a girl gets to look at least decent before she goes out. So yeah, here we go. Earrings, my everyday Van Cleef, Van Cleef bracelet, Cartier bracelet. Taking my Chanel bag and yeah, so. That is the vibe for this Tuesday evening. I'm going to get some drinks, some snacks, and um, yeah, see if you guys can get a full look. Junior Watson, I've been your money. Junior Watson, I've been your money. Tell him this. Junior want to not be on my mm. I can't really see where did I miss mm. Mm. Junior want to not be on my Junior want to not be on my Tell him this Did he miss Today is a Bay's a birthday so we are spending the day together I gotta stop looking over here so we are spending the day together. This is what the hair looks like when it's not in the rods. I took them out this morning. So it's given a little bit more, you know, better curls. Not perfect, but better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we are about to head to lunch. I have on jeans, blue jeans. I have on the top, it's a bodysuit. And then I have this jacket over. Everything is from Zara. My shoes are Louis Vuittons, red bottoms. And I'm taking my bag. Hopefully it all goes together. Um, but yeah, so this is the look for today. Like I said, it's Bay's birthday. I hope you guys can hear me because I have my um, a dishwasher running right now and I have you guys placed on the island so hopefully you can hear me um, but yeah so it's Bay's birthday so we're gonna go celebrate we're having lunch and then we have dinner later um, yeah so we're just kind of hanging out you guys saw I got a gift yesterday even though it was his birthday but you know um, I did go to the gym this morning I actually um, worked with a trainer so that was really cool he worked me out even though it was like for 30 45 minutes i still got a really good workout in
it is the next day and uh, it is 2.43. I'm about to head to my sister's house because my nephew is here. Uh, my sister gave birth a couple of days ago, so I'm gonna go look at my little baby, my son, because that's the only that's the only child I'm having anytime soon. So yeah, so we went to my sister's house. This cardigan is so freaking big. It's huge. Also, I decided I'm gonna give the second one to my sister. So this is like the outfit I wore to the airport, except with different boots. So I have my Givenchy boots. This cardigan and a uh, white tank top and I just have my hair in curls I added some layers into my hair to make the curls look better so it looks uh, so much better so yeah I think I did a pretty decent job with installing this wig on my head <laughs> um, and I haven't wanted to rip it off because usually when I put a wig on my head, I just want to rip it off, okay? Yeah, so I will see you guys at some point. You guys are not coming with me because you don't get to see my little baby. He's mine. So, yeah. <laughs> this morning as you guys saw um, I did a little bit of yoga and then I did some of the workout that the trainer that I told you guys I worked with and so he taught me some workouts that I could honestly do at home as well so I was doing some of that because I'm really just trying to tone up like I said I'm not trying to burn like any fat lose you know more weight i'm just trying to tone up and just kind of get my body more active so i was like okay well i don't feel like going to the gym today because <laughs> i really didn't feel like getting up getting dressed and going to the gym so i was like okay get the workouts at home um yesterday i told you guys i was gonna go look at my look at i was gonna go visit my sister because she recently had a baby i am an aunt okay Finally, someone has made me an aunt. Um, so I have a little nephew, so I went to go look at him, um, meet him, say hi to him. He's super adorable. Um, I didn't take you guys with me. I don't share family stuff on here. This is my channel, not my sister's channel, not my mother's channel, not my cousins, uncles, brothers. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about that side of my life. You think you do. You don't well some people think they do but they they don't okay um you guys have never seen my mom except probably maybe once like a very long time ago and my sister like a very long time ago so i don't really share like personal you know my sister is a very private person anyway i wasn't gonna bring my camera and be like oh my god and put my nephew on camera i feel like eventually i probably will but he's new he's literally like four days old so that's not cute um so yeah so after my little workout this morning i have a showered i was telling you guys that i had some um i added some layers in the front of this wig so that the curls look better and you know okay i like the hair i'm, I'm fucking with it yeah, so i was also telling you guys that I had a bunch of um, inquiries about promotion on my channel. I get them a lot, but I don't really care unless you're paying me. I'm sorry, I don't work for free. Um, these videos might seem easy to like, you know, you guys, but it takes a lot of work to one, get up every day, film content, two, edit the content, three, upload the content. 
Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that for free products that I can go and spend my money and buy. Okay, and then half of the time, it's not even stuff that I personally would buy. So I'm not going to do all this work for, you know, for free items. Um, but, you know, if you're willing to pay me, then cool. So I did have a couple of people reach out to pay me. This company, I'm not going to shout them out yet because they've yet to send my money. Because what I do is, um, and I've done this before in the past, you send me half. Once I get half in the product, I will advertise the product on my channel, upload the video, and then once the video is uploaded or I send it to them and they approve it, then they send me the rest of my money. Um, so I had this one company send me a code so I can buy stuff off of their um, website. But I haven't received my money via PayPal, so I'm going to open the stuff, but I'm not going to um, post the brand. Not in this vlog yet, okay? So, also got to make sure my address doesn't a show because people are crazy. I'm moving anyway, so yeah. Soon come, soon come, I'm moving. I'm still shopping i'm trying to find the perfect place perfect lighting all of that stuff so soon come um but <laughs> oh shit i don't know can you guys see the brand whatever if you see the brand you see it i'm just gonna open some stuff you guys see the name you see the name if you don't, you know, I'm not going to leave any links though, but it's an active wear, um, brand and it's about to be spring and summertime in Boston. So I ordered a bunch of workout, um, stuff. So this is a squirt. So it's the shorts inside and a skirt. So this is like perfect for tennis, um, going golfing, super cute. I got that. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys everything. Just some stuff. Let me see. I think I might have ordered the same skirt, <laughs> skirt, but in black as well. So this is what that looks like. So I'm just getting ready for my active summer and spring because. I want to look cute. I think honestly what makes it exciting to go work out is looking cute. So this cute little workout top. Pretty sure I got them like sets. So that top should go with these. It's like the little thing in the back. It's supposed to make your butt all cute. Wow, the material is great. Okay. I actually like this stuff. <laughs> I'm hilarious. I actually like this stuff. Wow. Okay. These are amazing. These are super cute. You can never have enough of these sets to wear. I was actually opening it because I wanted to put one on. Let me see. Yes, a cute little sports bra. This one has padding. Why does this have padding? I would definitely be taking the padding out of it. Um, but these are just like the little cute active wear stuff I ordered from them that they sent to me for free anyways. Um, cute top. Wow, this is a really cute workout top. And then I just picked up this little nipple cover thing. I got a large because I got big titties. So like if you're wearing like a backless dress or a strapless dress and you want to kind of keep your boobs up, I ended up getting one because I saw it. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me try this. 
So they have a variety of different things on their website, um, but they mainly focus on athleisure stuff. Um, I'm doing laundry, so this was perfect anyways for me to open this package because I am going to go ahead and put the stuff away. Probably put on one of these tops with the pants because we have some errands to run. My last load is dry and I feel like I always have laundry. Do you guys have that problem? Because I feel like I'm doing laundry every other day. If it's not me washing towels or sheets, I'm washing clothes. I feel like I'm always doing laundry. And it's just never ending. Because after that, I actually have towels that I need to throw in. But I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with that today. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put this stuff away. Which also means that I should probably empty out my athleisure drawer. Where I have all of my like um, workout stuff. Because honestly, there's definitely some stuff in there that I never wear. Um... You know, because I ordered them or got them a long time ago and they're not fitting how I like them to. So I should probably honestly empty out that a little bit, um, take out the stuff that I'm not wearing before I put this stuff in. And then, yeah. Then we're going to get dressed and then we're going to go run some errands. I need to get food for Chanel. I need to get toothpaste. I need to get water. I need to get some more Celsius, like workout stuff. I might need like a protein, something to put in like my smoothies and stuff. Um, but I just know that I need to run some errands. And I have a gift card to Home Goods. After I returned the stuff that Bay had gotten me, I ended up putting it on a gift card. So I can use it at Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. So I'm probably gonna stop at Home Goods. Cause I, at this point, <laughs> I don't think I need any more. Um, workout stuff okay I think I opened in the beginning of this vlog I opened um, a package that I had gotten from another company called Joja um, and I actually wore one of their sets yesterday was it yesterday the day Wednesday when I went to um, the training session with the trainer and it was actually really cute so I don't think I need any more athletic stuff so I think I'm probably just gonna use it at home goods because you can never have enough home goods stuff so yeah. You guys remember these fashion over um, sets? Like, should I keep this? I don't know why, but I never wear it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So this is my problem. I have a hard time letting go of things. Also, remember skims? Like, I don't know why I was buying these. You're not supposed to wear these out and I'm not the girl to be in these. I call these long johns. They look like long johns. I'm not the one to be wearing this in the house, okay? I like to be comfortable at home, like, nude. <laughs> so I don't know. I barely ever wear these. So there's that. I don't know if I want to keep them. I don't know what I want to do with them. But I got it in this color, too. Oh, come on, Doug. Oh, yeah. And I got this too. As you can see, you can literally tell I never wore this. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ayy, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Uno of those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. In the dirt that they do on my name, turn the soil hey. and I I ended up putting some makeup on my face. Let me see. Yeah, so I ended up doing a little light beat so that I can film this unboxing video for my um, Hermes stuff that I got while I was in London and Paris because I've been saying I want to film it. Ended up not filming it for like, how long has it been now? Two months? <laughs> not two months. The last week and a half um yeah so i have a bunch of stuff you guys didn't get to see all of the stuff that i got while i was in london and paris and so i wanted to actually do like a separate unboxing video for that i did show you guys on instagram live um but i know some people are not on instagram or probably missed the live so i decided that you know what i'm gonna do a little light beat since i'm basically getting dressed to run errands i'm just gonna go ahead and film the video get it over with and um then go ahead and run my errands and you know just kind of enjoy the rest of my day and not keep holding on to the boxes because they're right there um you know and they're taking up space in my closet so i want to get rid of the boxes i want to put my stuff away so i'm going to film that video and i'm going to come back I'm gonna show you guys my little cute fit that's from Halara, the company that just, you know, sent me stuff, so. I don't know, I don't care what anyone says. This hair looks good on me. I did a good job, period. <laughs> so yeah, let me go ahead and uh, film this video and uh, I'll come back once I am about to head out to uh, run some errands so it has been hours later i filmed my unboxing video finally oh my god let me move you guys back a little bit finally filmed that unboxing video i'm going to upload it before this vlog so go back and check that video out i'm gonna leave it up here if you guys have not seen it um I was just basically showing you guys all the stuff that I got in London and Paris. If you follow me on Instagram, a lot of you guys already saw it. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, the video was specifically for you. And I also just wanted to, you know, dedicate a video to my bag. It took me this long because, yeah, girl, I told you guys, you guys know I have a new camera. Um, and so this camera actually, it charges with a cord so it's not like a wall charger like how my Canon had so I do need to get some extra batteries so that I can you know charge them and save them in case I'm like filming and my battery dies I have a backup battery but my freaking battery died when I was filming the video so I ended up having to stop charge the freaking battery while i you know went live on instagram or whatever the case might be but now i just ordered some food got some wine and we are going to stay in tonight we have a snowstorm coming in so we don't want to deal with that so we are staying in and having dinner inside having a glass of wine i'm actually going to open this I love my electric wine opener. I'm not exactly sure who got this for me, but it was definitely a gift. I'm thinking it was either my mom or Tattoo Daddy, but this thing is like the best thing that's ever been made. Does not take any effort. to open your wine. So I'm going to pour myself a glass of 
line. Because like I said, we are going to be relaxing at home. And it's easy, you just pull this and you know, put it back on your bottle. So as I was filming and doing all of that stuff, I guess I had a couple of packages delivered to me. I'm not exactly sure what one of them is, but I do know that this package from Amazon is lights. I ordered some new lights. I ordered some new lights to film with. I saw a girl recommend them on TikTok. So I ordered it off of Amazon and I'm pretty sure I think I grabbed a couple of other things as well. So we are going to go through this and see what I got, but this looks like the lights. Yep, let a photography light kit. And I got, ooh, chop. So, let's see what they look like. This would have came in handy when I was filming my unboxing video. But it's fine, we're going to save it for the next video. But I will show you guys what the lights look like. Looks like a lot, like jeez. <laughs> Like, why do they package some of these Amazon items? So, got them hard. Like, it's just lights. Wow, it comes in like a travel bag. Do you guys see this? Jeez, it's a workout just trying to get these lights out. Um, but these are supposed to be like perfect. Yes. So this is what they look like. I've actually been trying to order these for the longest. So this is what they look like. And then they come with, obviously, stands. And then they come with charging cables. So these lights are supposed to be cordless. After you like charge them, then you can like move them around your apartment or wherever you're filming without having to have it connected to the wall. Um, I saw a girl talk about it on TikTok. So I decided to, you know, purchase them. And they come to her purchase. So yeah. So that is what I got. And I got two charging cables two tripods for each one and then you have two lights and in the back is where the batteries are and you can charge them and I actually really like the fact that they come in this travel bag because it makes it easy to store so when I'm not using them, I can literally just put them back in this bag, zip it up, and 
and it's not going to take up space in my house. You know, I can put this in the closet when I'm done filming. Um, it's super cute. I like it. And if I'm like traveling for, you know, to capture footage or vlog, wherever, and I want to take my lights with me, I can. And I can just hold them like this. And travel with them and I believe these were I think the most I think I saw was 70 bucks um, so they weren't really expensive they weren't like a hundred and something dollars two hundred dollars these were like 60 to 70 bucks is what I spent on it and I don't know I thought it was a great investment in my personal opinion I don't know what's in the second box, but it's probably from Amazon as well. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, you know something? This is shoes. Because you can never have enough shoes. I'm sorry. And uh, I got this actually from Scents. And they were on sale. I was telling you guys on a previous vlog. That certain online high end or high like designer. Um, stores not like the actual store so like not Amina Moadi like directly but if you go on certain department stores like Saks or Scents or um, what if Revolve they have sales so tell me why I got these Amina Moadi shoes Like, tell me why. Okay. When I went on there and I saw they were on sale. I was like, oh, must have. And it's literally a color that I don't have in my closet. Um, I'm at a point where it's like I have enough black shoes. I have enough gold, mainly black, mainly browns. It's time for me to add some colors into my collection so i got this stunning amina muadi heels i mean do you guys see the texture it's given alligator <laughs> okay it's given exotic <laughs> So this is the color and they're just absolutely stunning and I love the fact that she has like these like pinkish color at the bottom of her heels I mean is this not a stunning color I just now have to find a matching bag but this was not even the exciting item that I got on there on sale what I really got that was exciting, that was on sale, were these match match heels. And I'm sure you guys have seen them all over the internet, okay? All the girlies have it. Match and match special shoes need special intention. Okay. What it looks like inside. And this is what they look like. Like, are we kidding? Talk about a shoe. Talk about an extravagant shoe. And I paid half the price for these. So the original price for these are about $1,200 and I paid a 500 
Hello? Are we shitting? Me? It's the diamonds on it for me. <laughs> Swarovski diamonds. <laughs> I'm funny. Um, but yeah, so I got these on sale. Now, I had been eyeing these for a while. Um, not the specific color, but the, just the shoe in general. Um, and I just ended up buying other stuff. And then when I saw it on sale, I was like, oh, this is, this is my time. Okay. This is my time to buy them. I was going to buy them at their original price, but like, if you can get it for sale, why wouldn't you? So I'm a little happy that I waited and got other stuff and ended up getting these on a sale. So yeah, I'm super happy about that. They're gorgeous. And they happen to have my size because usually when something is on sale, they're very limited when it comes to size. And I wear a 38 and a half, which is like a I feel like it's an average woman's shoe size. Like a lot of times when I go to the mall or if I go to a certain brand or store or something and I look for a 38 and a half, which is an eight and a half, they usually ran out. So for them to have a 38 and a half in my size was everything, literally everything. So I don't know, I'm excited to try these. Um, I think it's a very bold statement, you know, shoes. And I think it's gonna be interesting to see how I style it, but definitely not a pair of shoes you wear on an everyday basis, but they are stunning. So yeah. That is what I wanted to unbox and show you guys. The Amina Mawadi heels were really not like a super exciting purchase. I definitely did get this for like 300 bucks and I think the original price for them were like 800 bucks. So definitely a steal, um, but they're just like a basic green heel. Um, it's just, I don't have this color in my collection of shoes, so. I wanted to, you know, add some bold colors and, you know, make my collection a little bit more versatile. I have uh, switched into my favorite white beaters, pajamas, and my food got here. I got some chimichangas. Um, I got some tacos. And some chips and a salsa. So I'm going to make myself a plate. I'm going to eat. And I'm calling it a night, okay? Today has been a day. Tomorrow I'm going to the gym. And um, yeah. So I love me some chimichangas. And it's going to be a night in. I washed my face already. So we're good. Makeup is gone. So now I can actually make my plate and go watch some TV and eat my food and go to sleep. And I feel like I have to get up and do anything. So see you guys tomorrow. At least many come around and I run. It's for Eric and love and I share it. Let's talk about Frankie. I love when he's banging. You know what I'm on. Cheers for Gerald. I'm at.